There were a lot of different things that I, you know, decided I wanted to try to do, and guess what? I tried to be the best at every single one of them. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Hey, what's up everybody? Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to send a message out to teenagers, people in the early 20s that are just trying to figure out their life, okay? They're trying to figure out what they want to do with their life. They don't know which way to go. They know they want to be super successful. Maybe this is you. You know, maybe you're watching this for your son or daughter or your friend, or maybe this is you. Maybe you want to be super successful. You want to make a difference in the world. You want to do great things. You want to become super wealthy. Whatever the case may be, I want to help you today. I want to give you a couple of pointers that I wish someone would have shared with me um, back then. Now, some of these things that I'm going to tell you, I actually did do those at the time, but there were a couple things that I could have added in there that somebody could have told me that would have really helped me fast track the situation, okay? So just to give you a little heads up on where I am right now, I'm 38 years old, I've been through a lot, I made a million before I was 23, I lost it, I went and roofed houses, worked on an oil rig, I grew up roofing houses, came back from all that, read 200 books, and worked my way back up to becoming the number one Remax agent in the state of Alabama multiple times, I still sell real estate full time, and I, I built a seven figure coaching business, okay? coaching real estate agents for absolutely free. So I'm really excited, okay, um, about where I am in my life. I travel all over the world and speak, and I write books, I do YouTube videos, I sell properties, and I'm just, I'm really having a lot of fun, okay? I don't do it because I have to. Everything that I do is not because I have to, it's because I want to, it's because I have a passion for it. I wanna make a difference in the world, okay? I want the, re the failure rate in the real estate industry to come down. Okay, I want entrepreneurs like yourself, okay, you might not even be a real estate agent, but I want you to have the confidence in what you're doing on a daily basis that's going to get you where you want to be in your life. So that's what this video is about. So towards the end of this video, I want to give you the four keys to success, okay? These are things that I figured out, okay, and I want to share that with you towards the end, but for now I want to talk about your specific situation. Let's say that you're, you know, you're just kind of lost, maybe you're in college, you don't know what you want to do, maybe you're in high school, maybe you're, maybe you're dropout, maybe, you know, maybe you don't go to school, maybe you're homeschooled, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, you don't really have any direction, you don't know what you want to do, you know, when you, you know you want to do something great, but you don't have a dollar to your name, you don't have anything going on, okay? Here are the things that I wish I would have known, okay? The first thing is this, okay get a job okay you're, you're at the bottom okay so we're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up okay so the first step is to get a job making some money it doesn't matter how much money it is I roofed houses for $300 a week worked my ass off for $300 a week all right and it didn't bother me I wasn't worried about the 300 or how much I was making here's what I was worried about being the best roofer I could be every single day Okay, that's what mattered to me. I didn't care about the money, I was just worried about being the best, okay? I've been many things. I was a concierge, I was a cook, grill cook in a seafood restaurant. Um, I was a waiter, all right? I waited, how, I waited tables at a, sea, at a steakhouse, uh, roofed houses, worked on an oil rig, been a real estate agent, many different things. I cooked pizzas, I delivered pizzas, lots of things, okay? Also, things outside of work, right? I was a football player, I played guitar, um, I was an artist, you know, there, was, there were a lot of different things that I, you know, decided I wanted to try to do, and guess what? I tried to be the best at every single one of them, right? And I focused, I was so focused on each one. I didn't let anything distract me, I was focused on being the best at this. And that's the way you need to be. Now, when you get your job, you know, you don't need to think, okay, I hate this job. You need to think, I love this job, I'm gonna be the very best employee at this job. I'm gonna make my boss wanna give me a raise because I'm working so hard. I'm not gonna ask for a raise, right? I'm gonna to prove to them, you know, over the course of months that they need to give me a raise because they can't afford to lose me. That's the kind of demand that you want for yourself. At that point, you have options. Now, when you have a job, what you need to do is, you know, become the best at that job, but always have a side hustle, okay? And I think that, as a teenager maybe, or you know, if, if you're not in a situation where you can actually get a second job, your side hustle should be a couple of different things, right? And I think the very first thing is, is you need to get the book, The Slight Edge, 
Okay, the slight edge changed my life, okay? As a younger person, I wish I would have read The Slight Edge, okay? Um, it, it is an incredible, incredible book and it's gonna change your life. It's the only book I read out of 100 books twice. I read it cover to cover twice, okay? And I'm not a reader, by the way. The reason I read 100 books is because I lost everything in the market crash and I was back down to the bottom, went from being a millionaire to at the bottom, wondering what, what happened, why, why I failed. I was super curious, so I read books. Now that I'm where I'm at, you know, my education is more, more comes from experience, you know, trial and error, watching other people, watching videos and podcasts and stuff like that, but not necessarily reading, okay? So you gotta think, I'm not a reader, but I read 100 books because I was that hungry. But you need to read The Slight Edge, I'm telling you, it'll change your life. So you need to get a job, become the best at your job. I don't care if it's at McDonald's, be the very best employee there, okay? As time goes on and you become the best there, that's gonna prepare you mentally to become the best at anything you do in life, right? And you're just gonna move up the ladder. You're always looking for a better opportunity, take the better opportunity, okay? Maybe do both opportunities, you know, your, your McDonald's job and then this other job that makes more money, do them both together to make sure this is really real, and then make the leap and do this full time while you're doing another side gig or trying to find another job and you're working your way up. See what I'm saying? And you continue working your way up. Now you could become a real estate agent like I did, okay? That's one class to get your license and then you're off to the races. You have to be 18, right? In most states, some states, maybe a little different ages there, maybe a year or two off, 18 in most states. Um, I'll put a link below this video um, where you can take your course if you want to go that route or reach out to me. Let me know what I can do to help you. I coach people for free. So I want you to get into the mentality that Whatever you do, you wanna be the best at it, regardless of what the pay is, regardless of what it is, love it. If you love it, you're gonna love the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. You're gonna enjoy life, you're gonna be super successful, okay? Read the book, The Slight Edge. Now, my four keys to success. You have to believe 100% that you're gonna do something great. If you believe 99%, it's not gonna work. It's gotta be 100. Conviction, confidence, without a doubt, it's gonna happen. Second thing is work hard. Be the hardest worker in whatever you're doing and be the best. Third thing is adapt along the way. Figure out what works and what doesn't work. Try new things, always testing. Don't fear of, of failing, okay? When you fail, that's a lesson learned. Now we're better. Now we just keep climbing, keep climbing, keep climbing. Trust me, I fail every day and it's fine with me because I'm learning so much along the way. Okay, the fourth thing is to be patient. Okay, this is the most important part because so many people want it today and they don't realize it takes decades. Decades, listen to me, decades. Okay, so we wanna believe, work hard, adapt, and be patient. Write those things down, think about it. Think about what I'm saying and get out there and succeed. Let me know what in the world I can do for you. I'm here to help you. I wanna help you from here for the rest of your life. Anything I can do, that's what I'm here for. Leave me a comment, shoot me a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you guys on the next video. Let's go.